Hi everybody, on behalf of Kutera Australia and New Zealand, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the inaugural Kutera University Educational Webinar Series. Kutera University remains a significant investment in our commitment to ongoing education, and this is the first time we've ever shared the content from a Kutera University clinical forum with those people who haven't attended the meeting. With the COVID-19 restrictions and universally positive feedback from over 120 attendees, we really wanted to provide some additional support and share this educational content with everybody via a webinar series. I would like very much to thank all the speakers in advance for offering their time and for partnering with Qtira to make this project a success. And I would now like to introduce you to your first speaker and moderator for the Qtira University program in 2020, Dr. Ashish Bhatia from the United States. Hello, my name is Dr. Ashish Bhatia. I'm a board certified dermatologist in the suburbs of Chicago. And I'm an associate professor of clinical dermatology at Northwestern University of Feinberg School of Medicine. I also oversee clinical research in dermatology, as well as in devices and lasers. And that is a passion of mine, as, in, in, as well as developing new devices and technologies. And today what we're going to talk about is one of my favorite technologies, which is the TrueSculpt ID. This is one of the top technologies available for body sculpting. So there is a huge demand for body sculpting right now. Uh, the average BMI is 27, which with 30 uh, being obese and 27 being in the overweight range. 71% of adults are either overweight or obese. And so there's a big body image issue going on. 100% of women that were surveyed were found to be unhappy with their bodies uh, and have resorted to dieting. Now, 50% of men have dissatisfaction, which has tripled over the last few years. So there's a big interest and demand for non-invasive body sculpting procedures because these help shape the body without a lot of downtime. And in fact, the number one non-surgical non-invasive procedure was non-surgical fat reduction over the last year. And this has increased almost 25% year over year. You know, this, this has resulted in about 8 million procedures that were performed in the US um, with a total revenue of almost 4.3 billion per practitioner in procedure fees alone. So if you look at body sculpting in general, there's, there's three basic types. There's the kind for skin improvement, which is bipolar RF and vacuum. And you can see there's just uh, heat that's delivered to the area that is sucked into uh, this head. And it really does just superficial heating. Now there are some slimming devices that are available that have a uh, focused field of RF. And you can see there too in the middle diagram that that's a very superficial heating. But to really reduce fat visibly, what you need to do is actually treat the whole thickness of fat. And that's where the lipolysis that is done with TrueSculpt ID comes in. And you can see in the last diagram, it's, it allows us to sculpt and contour by actually treating the full thickness of fat with heat. Not only that, it also treats the epidermis and dermis, the components of the skin, with heat as well to get tightening. So really, when we look at non-invasive lipolysis, there's many kinds. So there's cry, uh, cryo-based, uh, which is cooling, laser-based, ultrasound-based, but they're all destructive. But the only one, the only device that's been cleared for lipolysis has been the TrueSculpt ID, and that uses RF energy. And you can see the RF energy can actually penetrate through that entire fat layer. Now, what's the difference between bipolar versus monopolar RF technologies? Well, bipolar just causes superficial heating because heat goes from one electrode to another that's on the surface of the skin. Monopolar, what that does is goes down and the electrode actually uh, heats down uh, from the surface down. And that helps a little bit with wrinkles. Uh, now, when you get to monopolar at one or two megahertz, you actually get deep heating that goes from the surface all the way down through the layers of fat. And that's what you want for targeting permanent fat reduction. 
So when industry surveyed uh, physicians to figure out what voids there are in body sculpting, this is what practices had to say. They wanted more consistent results with full correction in a single treatment. They wanted to treat larger and smaller areas simultaneously with a single device. And they wanted to not be limited to where the applicators can go. They wanted versatility in treatment. They also wanted faster treatment speeds, higher patient satisfaction, less downtime. They wanted to avoid the problems with cold sensitivity and post-treatment massage. And they wanted lighter, smaller hand pieces that could be put anywhere. And they wanted low, low cost consumables. And this all makes sense, right? These were some of the issues with previous technologies. And so that's really the charge that was taken when designing the TrueSculpt ID. It's the first and only RF device cleared for lipolysis. So it's the only one that's been proven with histology to cause lipolysis. And we actually did those studies uh, and I reviewed those histology slides myself. So it's a non-invasive device So you can see it's a small compact device. And what it can do is reduce the circumference of the abdomen, but also reduce the fat thickness layer by about 24%. It causes deep dermal heating as well, so that causes tightening of the dermis. And there's really no BMI restriction. You can do this on heavier people or lighter people, uh, people that just want a little bit or people that want a lot. And it, it, it works and it works fast. So here's the platform, you can see it's really simple. It comes with six electrodes, uh, plus a chin hand piece and a old glide hand piece for people that like the glide technique. So with these six hand pieces, they're really small. They're like little pucks, like hockey puck size. And there's no limitation on where you can place them. And additionally, you don't have to go out and buy more hand pieces every time you wanna treat a new area. You can use those six hand pieces wherever you want and they actually attach with a double-sided conduction medium that sticks right to the body and then the handpiece sticks right on top of that. And it's a very fast treatment. It's the fastest of any treatment. It's 15 minutes for a treatment. It's hands-free, hand, uh, or you can do a handheld uh, technique, but most people just do hands-free and that's what we do in our practice. And it's very comfortable with no downtime for the patient. And like I said before, it's the first and only RF device which is FDA cleared for lipolysis. And so it actually destroys the fat cells. This results in a 24% reduction in fat as well as a circumferential fat reduction. So how does it work? So as I said, this is a two megahertz monopolar RF handpiece. And with two megahertz, we can treat the entire fat layer from skin all the way down to where the muscle is. And what that does is shrink that entire thickness of fat an average of 24%. And what you see when you get therapeutic temperatures in the fat, which is between 46 and 48 degrees for 10 minutes, that induces apoptosis. What is apoptosis? Well, apoptosis is the programmed death of fat cells. So once this injury occurs, the, the cells know that, you know, over the next 30 to 90 days, they're going to self-destruct. And that's what actually happens. And so you permanently destroy these fat cells and they're completely cleared within 12 weeks. So one of the things about the TrueSculpt ID is that it uses true control technology. So what that does is you don't have to worry about the settings. Once you get the patient up to temperature, you can leave it and it will del deliver the right amount of energy safely to cause the uh, lipolysis that we need. And the way it does is it on multiple areas of each of those hand pieces, it in real time measures the temperatures. And we know from surface temperature what the tissue temperature is in the fat. And it gives you exactly the right temperature to actually cause uh, lipolysis. So the skin temperature is continuously monitored and maintained at about 43 degrees centigrade. It's a hands-free device, so you can turn it on, you can leave or you can stay with the patient. And it, it really provides for a lot of safety because if the temperature gets out of the range, it'll just turn itself off. And by keeping the surface temperature at a low uh, level, but the deep temperature high, you cause good lipolysis, but you give a very comfortable treatment. Like I said, the therapeutic fat temperature really maintained at 46 to 48 degrees. So if you look at the timestamp here, um, from when you start, if you rapidly get up to above that 45 degree threshold where lipolysis occurs. 
And once you're up there, you only have to maintain it for 10 minutes uh, to get a full treatment. And so that's why this can be a 15 minute treatment, about five minutes to get up to therapeutic and the rest to stay up that therapeutic. And the cool thing about this is with the two megahertz technology, we encountered what's called uh, temperature inversion, where the skin actually stays cooler and the fat gets hotter and that that allows the fat to be destroyed, but a much more comfortable treatment because you're not delivering a lot of heat at the surface where the person feels the heat. So you really have a lot of options going all the way from invasive liposuction or laser liposuction down to now, what we have is the RF-based um, fat lipolysis. And here's some of the studies that we did looking at fat necrosis. So uh, you can see a control uh, slide there on, the, on your left uh, where there's nice intact fat cells. Immediately post-treatment, you can already start seeing inflammatory cells by the arrows there. 30 days, you have kind of peak inflammation, and then the inflammation tapers down, but as it does, you know, these destroyed fat cells are being resorbed. And at 90 days, there is minimal inflammation, and you can see a minimal amount of residual necrosis as well. And what you do see is you see it through the whole depth of the fat, and that's what's being shown here. It, it occurs all the way throughout the tissue, extending 1.5 centimeters into subcutaneous fat. And here's a really good example. This is actually me. And uh, this, this is after a single treatment, you know, experienced about a 26% fat reduction as seen by ultrasound. And you can see, you know, my fat layer thickness was about 1.1 centimeters before, and then measured at the exact same spot 12 weeks later, it was down to 0.8 centimeters. So that is about a 26% reduction. And here's the uh, before and after. Now we're going to take some questions on the TrueSculpt ID. So first question is, what's the main difference between TrueSculpt ID and cool sculpting? Well, uh, they use a different modality. So what true sculpting or uh, cool, what cool sculpting does is uses coal. Uh, to freeze the fat cells, cause crystallization within the fat cells, uh, and that leads to destruction of the fat cells. While it, with true sculpting, we use heat, uh, which is delivered by the radio frequency modality. So the, the benefits here, and we've had both in our practice, and in my old practice, we had both. And then when we started a new practice, we only got the true sculpt ID. We didn't buy cool sculpting. Why? Well, there were several reasons. One, TrueSculpt ID has a faster treatment time, 15 minutes. Number two, it's more comfortable. You don't have the, the pain of the cooling, uh, nor the numbness and tingling afterwards. So that's the second reason. The third is all the hand pieces I need come with the device. We don't have to buy any additional hand pieces. And those hand pieces with cool sculpting, they're very effective and, and they're very customized to certain areas, but they're very bulky and they took up a lot of room in the clinic. Um, and finally, uh, you know, the results, um, you know, and, and the lack of side effects, that's the other thing. So uh, with cool sculpting, every once in a while, we did get some bruising. We don't see that with true sculpt ID. And in addition to this, we don't get that numbness or tingling afterwards. I did have a few patients with cool sculpting that got uh, paradoxical hyperplasia of the fat. Uh, we've never seen this with TrueScoped ID. So it's another one less worry that I have to uh, contend with when I'm doing uh, non-invasive body contouring. So um, one other thing I can think about is that also with TrueScoped ID, since we're using heat and RF technology and we're heating the skin, we actually get tissue tightening and skin tightening. So um, at the same time as you're destroying fat, you're also taking care of some of the laxity. This definitely works better in younger patients than older patients, but anyone with good skin tone will get some degree of skin tightening, which you do not see with cool sculpting. So those are the primary differences. Let's take the next question. What are the areas most often treated in your practice by the TrueSculpt ID? Well, our number one areas are the abdomen, whether it be the upper or lower abdomen, and the love handles. 
After that, I would say the bra, fat area, lower back, uh, inner thighs, outer thighs. Um, those are those are the main areas we treat, and then with the submental handpiece, we do treat the submental area as well. Next question. On most patients, do you always treat the abdomen and the love handles? You know, we really try to customize the treatment for each individual patient. So if somebody has more issues with their love handles, we may end up doing more on their love handles. Some people have very good abs and they just can't get rid of the love handles. So we only do the love handles and the lower back fat. So we customize the treatment for the patient's needs. And that's one of the beauties of the TrueSculpt ID. Next question is, do we ever combine the TrueSculpt ID and the TrueSculpt Flex? Yes. Um, we'll have another talk about that specifically, how we do that, but we often do these together and we can do, initiate the first treatment on the same day. So we can do the TrueSculpt ID first and immediately after do the Flex. And then after that, we put them on a regimen. So I like this because with the TrueSculpt ID, we're addressing that fat layer and the skin tightening. But with the TrueSculpt Flex, we're actually helping tone the muscles underneath. So once you get rid of that fat layer, you can actually see the muscles and the muscles are gonna appear a lot more toned. The other thing we use the Flex for a lot is really to just give people more core strength and tightening or in whatever body area they want, they wanna increase their muscle tone. That's where we go with the Flex. So that's another way we use it, but it's almost always used with the TrueSculpt ID. And last question, what has surprised you the most about TrueSculpt ID in your practice? Well, I think the thing that's impressed me the most about this is the fact that so many patients ask for it. So we don't do any external advertising, but we do have little screens, monitors running in each one of our rooms. And while people are waiting, they're watching the monitors. And there's a little uh, slide about TrueSculpt ID. There's one about Flex. And so many people ask about this. Many people, more than I would think, are really intrigued with body sculpting and have a desire to do it. And you know that reflects very well on that uh, survey we talked about early in the presentation about uh, people's body image and, and how much of a demand there is for it. So I didn't really believe it until I saw it for myself. And I think most people will see this for themselves in their practice. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Tal Humes. I'm a board certified physician in the United States and I own and operate Vital Medical Aesthetics, which is a all non-surgical cosmetic practice based out of Denver, Colorado. Today I'm gonna to talk with you about TrueSculpt ID. Not only about the device, but really about how we utilize TrueSculpt ID in our practice, how we assess our patients, how we treat our patients, and how we get the great results that we see. When we're talking about body contouring, it's important to look at the different aspects of body contouring. So most of our patients come in and what you think about is fat reduction. So they'll have a fit patient who comes in who has that small pocket of fat they wanna get rid of. What we're seeing more and more of are patients who come in who have a higher BMI and they want to contour their body. So we're able to use our device to debulk the fat and treat them on a broader level to get rid of their fat. We also have patients who come in who have skin texture issues as well as skin laxity. And then finally, patients who want to look more fit. And so we're talking about muscle sculpting for them. So I look at body contouring on a whole, kind of that pan body treatment that we can go ahead and we can start with fat reduction and skin laxity. And then where do we take it from there for our patients? Back in 2010, I had my very first body contouring device, which was an ultrasound device. And with this device, there were positives. We got great results with it. The downsides, however, were my patients didn't like that they had to do six to eight treatments in order to see results. We also had patients who really wanted to understand the science behind this treatment. And it was something that the company was not able to tell me. So I had this ultrasound device, we got results, but when I asked the company, how are we getting these results? They didn't have science to back it and they weren't sure what was happening to the adipocytes. In 2012, when TrueSculpt came out, I had a very high patient base of body contouring patients. And we were trying to decide, is it time to get another device because we're so busy with this? And if we get another device, do we get another one of these ultrasound devices or do we try something new? 
And that's when I decided I wanted to try radio frequency. I had heard about how radio frequency affects the fat cells. I had also understood that you could see definite results with TrueSculpt with causing apoptosis of these fat cells. And so I brought it into my practice and we also saw really good results with this treatment. But what we were seeing is mostly our patients with small pockets of fat as opposed to our patients that we were debulking. So in 2015, we brought on cryolipolysis with the plan to debulk our patients. And in 2016, when Qtera had gone from TrueSculpt, that very first version, to TrueSculpt 3D, we were actually asked if we would consider doing a follow-up study to their initial study that they did for the FDA with Dr. Taub and see whether or not we could reproduce those results in our patients. So when they came to me, they said, we're finding that with TrueSculpt 3D, we can get as good, if not better results in one treatment than I used to be able to get in two to three treatments with TrueSculpt. So of course I wanted to try it. So what we did is we did a follow-up study with them where we measured fat prior to treatment as well as 12 weeks after treatment to see how much that change or thickness of fat reduced. And we were able to reproduce that on average, our patients did get a 24% reduction in fat. In fact, some of our patients got up to a 35% reduction in thickness of fat, which was a great result for them. In 2018, when TrueSculpt ID was a possibility or an option in our practice, I wanted to go from TrueSculpt 3D, where it's more operator dependent and we have a movement technique, to a hands-free option. So we brought on TrueSculpt ID and we've been doing that since 2018. And then finally in 2019, brought on TrueSculpt Flex in order to kind of encompass everything we wanted for our patients when we go back to what we were talking about as far as body contouring in that last slide. I think it's really important every time we do a treatment to look at who are our patients. So my practice, it's a wide age range. We have patients who are in their 20s, we have patients who are in their 50s, we have patients who are in their 60s and 70s who want to reduce pockets of fat or tighten up their skin, and we're doing this with TrueSculpt ID. We're seeing all genders in our practice, as well as able to see all skin types because radio frequency energy is not subject to skin type like laser is. So we have a wide range of patients we can treat, which gives us a broader patient base and a lot more patients that we're seeing within the practice. We also are seeing moms, right? Women who have just had babies, who wanna get their body back. Maybe it's because they don't like the excess fat they have. Maybe it's that they have some skin laxity. Or for some of them, it's really about defining and strengthening their body as well. We can't forget dads. You know, moms want to come in, but dads do too. In the US, they had this joke that, you know, it's all about the dad bod. And we were supposed to embrace that dads were out of shape and had a poochy belly and, you know, they just didn't care. In reality, that's not the way it is. Our dads don't want to look unfit. They also want to look fit and feel good in their clothes. It could be that it's getting towards bathing suit season and everyone wants to look good in their bathing suits. It could be that they just want to feel good about themselves and have more confidence. We can't rule out our fit patients, right? We have people who come in who you might look at them and think, wow, they've got a great body, but they have an area of fat that bothers them that they wanna treat. And then as I said earlier, we're now seeing more patients with higher BMIs, meaning that they have more fat on them that originally we thought we couldn't treat, but with TrueSculpt ID, I can do debulking, and so I'm able to treat these patients. I think it's important to look at why would I wanna be a patient? Well, for me, these are my reasons. These are my two little ones. This picture is about a year old at this point, but these little ones have definitely changed the shape of, and how I feel about my body. So I wanted to use a device and I wanted to have a treatment that I know works. I know that TrueSculpt ID works. I know that I can get results and I wanted to utilize it in order to get my pre-baby body back. I wanted to feel better in my everyday clothes, especially in my work clothes that are a little bit more fitted. And I wanted to feel good when it was summertime in order to get back out on the beach and to the swimming pool so that I can feel more like myself. When we treat our patients, the number one thing we do in consultations and the number one thing we talk to them about is that we need to assess them. Right? It's our responsibility to say, our patient's coming in and they tell us the area they want to treat. Maybe they say, I don't like the fat on my lower abdomen. Great, so we take a look, we feel that fat and get a feel for how can this treatment help them? Do they have a lot of fat, do they have a little? Is it outside of that small area they notice? But it's my responsibility as their clinician to look at them and say, I notice this that lower body fat or this lower abdomen fat, but also look at your flanks or look at your upper abdomen. In order for me to get the best treatment for you, I need to go ahead and treat that all. 
So we go ahead and we pinch the fat first, as you saw in that last image. And then we take our templates and we say, okay, if we're using this template, where is the peak of that fat and where are we going to treat? And you can see here in this image, if you go back really quickly, you can see how we're pinching the fat and then we're seeing where those peaks are. And then here we take the template and we put that over the peak to say, this is exactly where I treat. And from there, I'm looking and saying, how many paddles or applicators will I need in order to treat this patient? And then from there, I talk to them about what it means to treat them to complete, meaning I make a recommendation on everything they need. If they've come in and they say, I just really don't like this area of fat right below my belly button, but they have fat above their belly button or that fat extends into their flanks, I explain to them why they're going to get the best results if they treat all of that. And I think it's really important that we show them in the mirror while we're doing the assessment what it is that we're seeing. I then talk to them about how the device works and how it compares to other devices, whether they're devices in my practice or other ones that they may find out there commercially. And then finally, when I'm talking to them about price, I talk with them about the area. For us, it's not about how many hand pieces, applicators, paddles, whichever one you want to call them. And when I say that, I mean, you know, that 40 by 40 square. For that, I'm talking about if we're treating the entire area, how would we get this result? So for us, an area may be a lower abdomen or it might be a full abdomen, depending on the side of a patient, size of a patient. It may be that their area is just their flanks. It could be that the area is inner thighs or outer thighs. Now, I base everything on an area around up to six paddles. So when we're talking about that 40 by 40 handpiece, that is up to six of them make one area. If they only need four, it's still one area and it doesn't cost them any less or it's no different because what I really want to do is I want to treat them the best way I can assess them as opposed to them being con conscious and saying, well, let's only use four paddles instead of six and then they don't get the best result. In my practice, I always say we sell outcomes, not services. And so our goal here is if our patients want to reduce fat in an area, we're going to work with them on how can they best get that result. So why do we do this? We do it to ensure, again, that they're getting their, meeting their goal and also getting the best result they can for their body habitus. Here we have a patient, and you can see if you look below her bra line here, you can see that she has two pockets of fat that are gone in this after picture. What I love about seeing this is this is a patient that came in. She didn't like that area. Here she is after one treatment. So she's about eight weeks after that first treatment. And what you can see is that we've reduced that fat but she was also treated on her flanks. And she came in saying she only wanted to treat that area under her bra. And as we looked in the mirror with her and showed her where her pockets of fat were, she could see what we were talking about, that to truly contour her, which was her ultimate goal, right? She wanted to be contoured and not have these pockets of fat, that this is what we needed to do. So let's look at where we put her paddles. So she had one, two, three, four. So she had four paddles up under her bra, and then we treated her around her flanks as well with another six paddles, making this two areas of treatment. In our next patient, this is a patient where we treated her full abdomen, her full abdomen as well as her flanks. So what we did is we treated her along her lower abdomen right above her belly button, and you can see that we've had improvement here, and then along her flanks as well. Again, this is a two area treatment for her. And it's our responsibility, even though she came in and she said, this is the only thing that bothers her, to say, well, look at your underwear line. Look at the fat that's pooching out right over here as well. If we were to treat that, and if you were to have that be more contoured, would you like that better? And that's how I really like to talk to them. I like to say, this is what you see. Great, let me take a look. I feel their fat. Again, we grab our templates and we show them where we're treating. But then I say, if I also look at this other area of your body, in her case, her flanks, this is what I'm seeing. And this is the kind of results I could get. And our patients really appreciate that. Here's another patient who was actually treated only on her abdomen. She was treated with paddles along her lower abdomen, all the way up almost to her ribs. So she had six paddles total, and this is her before and after one treatment. And in this case, she's also eight weeks out from that initial treatment. You can see where we didn't treat her along the flanks, and those have not changed, but she's definitely flatter and has less poochiness or less of that squishy fat on her anterior abdomen. This is another patient. Here she is before and after. And here I think you see an even better result where you're looking at another patient where she had skin laxity as well as needed fat reduction. And this to me is the type of patient that I like to see more from my submental treatments. So when I'm treating this patient, this is a great result on her. She's had skin tightening as well as fat reduction. And this is 12 weeks post one treatment.
here we have a postpartum patient. So this is a patient who's four months after having a baby and honestly still looks pregnant. I say that because this is me and I still looked pregnant in this picture. My bathing suit definitely didn't fit, my clothes didn't fit, and this isn't the way I wanted to look. So here I was treated, this is after one treatment, and this is 12 weeks after one round of treatments. Now, how, how were my paddles put on? You can see here in this picture, I had six paddles on my abdomen, treated the entire front of my abdomen. And if you go back to my before and after picture, really it's that lower part that bothered me, but you can see how I have excess fat above as well. Now in this picture, I weighed exactly the same amount. I know that because I had been weighing myself and I'm notoriously bad at dieting. Um, so in that 12 week change, I did not change my weight whatsoever, but you can see where those paddles were placed. So flanks, upper and lower, as well as full abdomen. Now, why did we do upper and lower flanks? Well, initially, see these lower flanks? That's what bothered me. And as my nurse was assessing me, she looked and she said, I really think that where you need to be treated is up higher to give you more curves. Well, I've never been curvy. So I thought, well, I don't wanna be curvy at all. So in my very, you know, the very first set of my treatments, we went ahead and treated my full abdomen and those lower flanks. And that took us a half hour. So it was 15 minutes for the front of my abdomen. And then it was 15 minutes for these lower flanks. And then she looked at me and said, let me just go ahead where let's do 15 minutes more and let's get both sides right up above because I think you're going to like the results better. And then she reminded me that as the expert, it's her responsibility to look at my body and tell me how I can best contour and best get that ultimate outcome. So I decided to go with it. And as you saw here, I did have a very nice result from that. So for me to not have changed weight, but to be able to change my body shape made a big difference. So in my practice, we do more than just freeze fat, or heat fat. We also freeze fat. I have more than one device. In fact, I do have several TrueSculpt ID devices and I do have a cryolipolysis device as well. When we're talking to our patients, we talk to them about what's going to be best for them. If I have a patient who comes in and they have skin laxity and excess fat, I talk with them about TrueSculpt ID because I can do both within the same setting. So I can tighten up their skin as well as reduce their fat. If they want to do cryolipolysis, I talk with them about the results for that as well. And then if they, if they also need to tighten up skin, but they've done cryolipolysis first, I'll do kind of a fire and ice combination where we'll do that ice portion first and we'll do fat reduction. And then on their second treatment, we will do TrueSculpt ID so that we can heat the fat as well as tighten up the skin. So when I have patients come in, oftentimes we're using them together, but then we're also doing it separately. I don't have to do a cryolipolysis treatment first in order for my TrueSculpt ID to work because TrueSculpt ID works great on its own. The other place where I'll use them in combination is for those of you who do any sort of cryolipolysis, you know that the fat needs to be sucked into the handpiece. And when it's sucked into the handpiece, there's an area around it that may not get treated. And once that treatment's done, if that area around it is still poochy or has excess fat that the patient doesn't want, I will go back and I'll treat them with TrueSculpt ID over that area. Another time that I'll use TrueSculpt ID with cryolipolysis is in my patients who've already done cryolipolysis and as I was saying, still need skin tightening. For a patient who comes in who has a small amount of fat, not enough to suck into that handpiece, what's really nice is that TrueSculpt ID does not need a minimum thickness of fat. So I have more versatility on my patients that I can treat with it. In fact, for some of those patients, what I'll do is as I'm talking with them, I'll explain to them that we can't get it into that handpiece, and then we'll walk through how they can do that treatment. The other things I do in my consultations is I talk with them about the difference between the two treatments. So as I'm assessing them, I say, okay, so here we are, we've got two different devices that we could treat your fat with. If we're doing a full abdomen, let's say, that's going to take me three applicators or three cycles of cryolipolysis at a minimum, sometimes it's four. But let's say on the lower end, it's three cycles, and that is going to be 90 plus minutes. So on a short end, that's 90 minutes of treatment for them, but I could do that same treatment with TrueSculpt ID in 15 minutes. So I walk through first and I say, I can treat your full abdomen, it will take me 90 minutes. What's going to happen is that the fat is going to suck into the handpiece. And then after 90, you know, after 35 minutes per handpiece, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to massage the area. Following treatment, you'll have bruising and swelling. You can go back to your every, you know, everyday life. And then I talk with them about some of the risks of cryolipolysis, which can be severe pain afterwards, as well as a risk of hyperplasia in the area. I will also talk to them about TrueSculpt ID, and I'll explain to them that we can go ahead and we can treat their full abdomen, that we don't suck it into the handpiece, so we're gonna place them on their skin, 
that during the treatment, it will feel hot. And then following the treatment, they'll have mild erythema. I call it redness to them, of course. Um, but they'll have mild redness afterwards that I tell them could last up to 24 hours, but I say most people, we don't see it lasting more than an hour. I let them know that we don't have any bruising or swelling with the treatment. And then I explain to them that with both of the devices that we will see results in about eight to 12 weeks after that first treatment. In our practice, we are doing two treatments with cryolipolysis on all of our patients and one treatment with TrueSculpt ID on our patients. I then go through and I show them before and after pictures and I show them with TrueSculpt ID, like those pictures that you saw earlier, I show them that all of that is after one treatment. And then we talk a little bit about what's going to fit their treatment regime and their goals best. As far as what I like about TrueSculpt ID in my practice, you know, as I've been saying is that I have a wide range of patients I can use it on because I can treat all skin types, I can treat a wide range of ages, we treat all genders, but also because I don't have to worry about that thickness of fat or any downtime for my patients. Um, I like the fact that there is proven results. So in my practice, 100% of my patients have seen a result. I have only one or two patients who didn't see as great of results as they wanted. And when I go back and look at them, it's because we didn't do as good of an, of an assessment. So 100% of my patients are seeing results. I have two of those patients who we probably undersold it to them a little bit and, or oversold it to them a little bit. And I'm usually a big fan of we should undersell and over deliver. So we did go back and we did a second treatment on those patients. We did not do it for free, but then they saw results after that. Can patients do two results, or two, sorry, can patients do two treatments? Yeah, absolutely they can. Most patients are doing one, but there's nothing to say that they couldn't do a second treatment in, in an area. We have a lot of patients where we do one area on them, we treat them, they like the results, and they come back and do another. What I also like about this treatment is that it's easy for my staff to learn. So when they come on and they're either new to our practice or they're new to body contouring, there's an easy learning curve on TrueSculpt ID. It's learning to assess the fat, where to place the paddles, and then we put it on and we leave them. There isn't a movement technique. There is no, you know, there's no operator change based, you know, no operator change in the treatment based off of who's doing the treatment. And then, as we've said before, a lot of these things are cross-selling. So my patients who are doing body contouring treatments, they're probably my same patients. Actually, I shouldn't say probably. They are my same patients who also are doing skin treatments within my practice. And so it's really nice to be able to keep them all in house. Thank you very much for talking with me today about TrueSculpt ID. We've loved the treatment in our practice, and I hope you do too. Okay, hi. Um, today I'm going to talk about reshaping the, the body contouring market, in particular with the TrueSculpt ID, the, the radio frequency device from Kutira. Um, a little bit, bit about myself. Um, my name is Richard Hogan, a doctor in North Queensland in a place called Mackay. Um, been here for the last, well, we had a clinic for now for the last 14 years, and, and over that time we've slowly developed and, and built it up. Uh, so we do injectables, uh, all, all different types of injectables, chemical peels, uh, multiple different types of laser treatments. Do some minimally invasive surgery as well as so like thread lifts and upper lip um, um, blepharoplasties. Uh, and I was doing liposculpture, but um, part of the reasoning for getting the TrueSculpt D and an exciting part for me was that I could actually stop using the uh, liposculpture and start doing TrueSculpt ID. Uh, so I've got a great group of, group of girls, a great team with us. So why did I choose the TrueSculpt ID compared to the other types of technology available? Um, look, it's mono, monopolar radio frequency is proven, it's proven technology, re reproduces results. Uh, I guess the, the really important thing for me uh, and for my team was that it's comfortable. Uh, the treatment types are extremely short, uh, no downtime, um, no discomfort for the patient. So that was super important. Um, I'm the only doctor in the practice, so it was important that my staff could actually complete the treatments. It was actually really important that it wasn't just the, the nursing staff, it can also be the dermal therapy staff that can complete the treatments. And with other types of um, competing technologies. Some of them you need specific licenses, so that makes it more difficult. Um, can treat so many more different areas than the, the competing technologies available. Um, with cryolipolysis, if you can't pinch enough fat, if you can't pinch enough skin, you can't do that area. Um, for a lot of other treatments, whereas with, where this radio frequency helps with a blending, so you can do outer thighs, inner thighs, you can do around the knees, uh, pretty much any sort of area that you got a bit of fat, you want a bit of shaping, you can do. 
uh, minimal cost of consumables. Um, that was important compared to cryolipolysis. Uh, very important uh, for me also was the point of difference between the, com between the competitors. Um, so there's a lot of other machines out there. Um, radio frequency, the, the Triscope Dive D, very new to Australia at the time. Um, and so it, excellent results. We're hearing some excellent results and getting some really good feedback from, from, from people that I was talking to. Uh, and also, obviously, with QT, they have excellent support and backup. So any sort of questions you've got, any sort of help that you need, you can always give them a call. Uh, they have an excellent marketing plan for the Triscopt ID. Uh, it's a 90-day plan, um, which uh, over that time, you can, you can follow it religiously, or you can do what we've done is take parts out of it that's worked for us. So comparing the available treatments. So your main available treatments are you've got your Triscopt ID, you've got your monopoly radio frequency, you've got your cryolipolysis technology, uh, and also then you've got laser lipolysis. So as you, as you can see with Triscopt uh, ID and the cryolipolysis, the average fat, permanent fat reduction is around that 24, 25% per treatment. Uh, obviously with the Triscopt ID, you can do so many more areas than with cryolipolysis. But look at the difference in the, the treatment time. Um, Triscopt ID really is, it's a 15 minute treatment. So you have the whole abdomen you can do in 15 minutes. To do that with cryolipolysis, you're looking at about 105 minutes to do exactly the same sort of area. Uh, and you can do multiple, because it's so short, you can do an abdomen and you can do flanks and you can do inner thighs and outer thighs all on the same day. Absolutely impossible to do with that cryolipolysis without, without not then being there for the whole day. Uh, laser lipolysis, they get about 10% average permanent fat reduction, so they need so many more treatments. And it's, it's still three times the, the length of time compared to Triscopt ID. Um, and the other thing is in Queensland and in some of the other states in Australia, um, you do need a laser license to, to be able to use um, sort of the laser lipolysis. Um, and it's, with the lead lasers, it's always the ongoing cost of a laser. Uh, whereas Triscopt ID, it really does have a low continual cost compared to the cryolipolysis. So, like I said, like this is just a picture of the abdomen. Um, so, with Triscopt ID, I mean, it would, it can vary the way you do it, but that whole area you can do in 15 minutes. And it takes 10 minutes to to set it up and then clean everything up. Cryolipolysis to do exactly the same area, you're looking around the 105 minutes. To, uh, plus, plus you've got massage as well. So, uh, and it's quite messy. You've got a lot of gel, and it's quite messy. Uh, laser is still three times the length of time to do the same area and you're only getting 10 percent fat reduction compared to so 24 25 percent per fat reduction per treatment um, so th there's the difference so with cryolipolysis you've got to be able to suck that fat um, to, to actually get that result now that can be extremely uncomfortable for a lot of people we've had a lot of clients and a lot of patients come in who've had cryolipolysis and they swear they're never going to have it done again huge amount of bruising um, they've been quite uncomfortable for a period of time afterwards. I've actually had a couple of cases where I've seen paroxysmal adipose hyperplasia. So it's uncommon, but it, it does happen. Um, but it's more the hypersensitivity and that paresthesia that people just um, get post cryolipolysis. With the true scope, being a monopolar two megahertz uh, radio frequency, uh, it's, it's heating the, the fat cells up to between about 45 to 48 degrees for that 10 to 15 minutes. That then causes adoptosis, and that's uh, permanent. So uh, it's comfortable. We've had um, it's a little bit feels a little bit like a warm water bottle. Uh, we've had absolutely no problems in the last twelve months. We've had no adverse or side effects with the Triscopt ID. So our our experience, it's very easy to use. Um, it's very safe. Like I said, we've had no one with any side effects, any complaints coming back afterwards. Um, the treatment time is very short and the patients love this. Um, the, and that's one of the first things they ask, how long does it take? Is there any downtime? Is there any pain? They're probably the three main things that our patients ask first were on the phone or if it's via social media for questions. Probably the fourth one is the price. So we find they're all very important um, aspects of the Triscopt ID. The other thing I find is excellent is it's not, um, Depend, it doesn't depend on the actual therapist. So each therapist has been trained to the same level, so the results are exactly the same. So instead of um, some of the other treatments, other uh, machines, uh, if the therapist is not doing the massage quite as well, then the results might be quite as effective. Uh, so what we're finding for gaining new patients and practice growth for us in regional Queensland, which I think you could, you could go anywhere with that, um, and probably if you're in the city, you'll have 
more success for certain with other things as well. Uh, because it's it's a device it, that it really is a large selection of patients, anywhere from 20 to 60 years of age, um, and we have people over the, over that age as well. So uh, it really is for everybody. Anybody that's got an area, they just want to lose a little bit of, um, get a bit of shape, um, it, it works really, really well. Um, the most common areas we're finding are the abdomen, the, the flanks, the love handle area, the thighs, and the upper arms. Um, probably we could be doing more in the double chin and the submental region, but it really does get used quite a lot for all the different areas. So interestingly, in our clinic, we, we've got these pie charts. It's not over 90% of our patients so far have been females over the last 12 months. Um, so that's something we've got to work on. So uh, I think you know it really is a big market for men as well. So I think we've really got to work on that and that really expand the sort of the, the knowledge of what true scalp ID is. Um, as you can see with BMI, uh, quite interesting, is it does a whole range. So the majority of people are, are within the normal and maybe slightly in the overweight range, um, and, but we still have a portion of people in the obese range that do have treatments done. Uh, and I think that's, that's important with your um, patient selection. As long as they've got realistic expectations and they know they may need multiple treatments or will need multiple treatments, um, they'll, they'll end up getting a, a good result. Um, so once again, so ages, majority of our ages anywhere from 30 to, to 60 years of age um, that we're finding with the true sculpt ID. And as you can see by that pie chart, once again, it's mainly the larger areas we're finding that we're, we're getting most interest with, uh, sort of the lower abdomen, the upper abdomen, the flank area as well. So what works for us? So we've got social media. Um, we use Facebook and Instagram, um, Google AdWords, uh, SEO and the website. We have patient education evenings. Um, we actually do, being a regional, we do some local charity events and get involved with the, 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 um, the, the locals. Um, radio advertising for us works quite well for brand recognition. Um, being once again a small area of radio advertising is not as expensive, so it may not be uh, an option for everybody. And just recently, we've actually put some outdoor signage, um, and I'll, I'll show you some photographs of that later, um, for just for TrueScope.d, and that's actually been, been quite successful, just with the drive-by traffic, which is really interesting. So, obviously, with every every clinic nowadays, with every practice with um, in aesthetic medicine, um, you've got we've got to have social media. That's the only way we get out there. We're actually targeting specific people that they're interested in what we do. So we're not blanket targeting every marketing to everybody. We're actually targeting those people that are interested in what we do. Um, you find nowadays people are very well researched. They, they know the questions they ask. They, they've been and asked lots of questions. They've been elsewhere. They've gone asked lots of different questions. So that they know what, what treatments are available. Um, for for them, and also the response time is very important. So we don't want them hanging around for a long time, waiting for hours to get to get back to them. So that's why it works so well. It can be instantaneous. Um, the patients like to contact us directly rather than calling nowadays that we find. So they can get us through Messenger or through Instagram. They, they, they prefer that. In actual fact, it actually probably saves us time as well. You can have that one conversation with, with a person uh, answering all those questions and that can be reviewed by hundreds or even thousands of people. So once they've seen it, then that, all those other people know about it. Um, we all spend hours and hours each day online. So, you know, that's, that's the way people are getting all their information nowadays. And, and interestingly, uh, marketing cost actually hasn't gone up. Um, even though we're targeting or getting more out there, um, our, mar our marketing, when we were doing television um, and more radio, was actually costing us more. And, and, and paper um, also, print media as well, was costing us more than we are now with social media and with radio advertising. So I just did a run around with, the, with some of the staff at work just to see how much time they spend on their phones. Um, so you can see, um, this is just one day, I think they, they were looked at and at least five five hours, some were seven or eight hours per day on the phone. Uh, and, and a lot of them are with social media. So the, the things like Instagram and Facebook are obviously very important. Um, so the, some of the younger ones were using Snapchat as well, we're finding. And just a little bit of a stuff you get information, you get off Facebook and Instagram just to show the sort of people we're targeting. So it, it's good to, to have a look at that and so analyze that from time to time. 
So we use a lot of social media campaigns for Instagram and Facebook. Um, we use our own, so we have our own um, photographs and put on there, as well as some use as some specials. Uh, the other thing with Kutira, they've set up a marketing plan for TrueSculpt.id, which works really, really well. So you can just follow that, and I think you'd have some excellent results. We grab things that we felt is appropriate for our market, being a, a different sort of market than maybe a, a city or um, someone from further down south. So we've we've worked out it's worked quite well for us. A uh, lot of demonstrations for us works extremely well. So we do information nights, uh, educational days. Um, we have, you know, special special events. Um, we do some charity balls and things like that as well. Um, so last year we had Richard from Kutira who um, came up to help us out for one evening called Beauty Decoded. We had over 90 people turn up for that, that evening. So we did a, it was not just for True School Dodgy. We did it for a lot of other procedures and other things we do. But a big component of it was the TrueSculpt ID because it was quite a new device at that stage for us. Um, so we had a live demonstration. Um, we did some did some um, discussions and talks. You know, people had questions, um, and then we at the end of it, it was actually a very very successful night. I think we saw 20 or 50, 14 packages of and at least six pads per each of those packages um, for the, out of those 90 clients. So we've always found that the live demonstrations work quite well for us. So it's something I'd like if I was, um, um, you know, if someone was wanting to um, to get more information out about TrueSculpt and really, really promote it, I think a live demonstration educational evenings work really, really well. And the last thing, the most final thing we've actually just received is some, some outdoor signage uh, just for TrueSculpt. So there's two different areas. There's one with a man and one with a, with a woman there. Um, on the very first week we had that, I think we had nine or 10 people um, actually ring us up, come in and get, get some procedures done with Triscop, which I was quite surprised with just by driving past. So yeah, nine people. So signage, <laughs> signage does work. We're just giving a scale of size there. Um, so it's quite, it's quite large, but so it really does get out there, which is good. So people are asking what a Triscop ID and so what's that compared to the other technologies? So it's been very, very good. So in terms of return of investment, so for, for us, um, being a, a regional area, which um, you'd think if you're living in a city, you'd have a the return of investment might even be a lot quicker. But in less than 12 months, we've done close to 100 people um, at least. Um, and majority of those people have purchased at least six pads. And the average cost of those pads was $1,650. And that's without GST. So like, you can work that out. So essentially in, in a year, the true sculpt has paid for itself. And that's, that's what I was aiming for. And I think, you know, if you can do that uh, and people are happy with results and that, that's the important thing as well. So it's not just uh, paying for itself, the, the clients have been extremely happy and they're getting the results that we want to see. So just some, we've got a few results here with the true sculpt ID. Um, I guess, you know, once again, so the results are consistent, they're not user dependent. Um, ideally, you want to do regular reviews. So with what we try and aim for, it doesn't always work, but what we try and aim for is on the day of the procedure, we like to try and get them back in two weeks. It's more just to, to follow them up, They're not that you're expecting too many changes at that stage. We'll take some photographs and just, you know, just make sure they're just keeping motivated. Um, then six weeks and then 12 weeks. And in that time, we're actually talking about other things we can be doing. So it, it, is, it works quite well. And I, obviously with any, as we know, with any procedure, any sort of thing we do, that you've got to have the realistic expectations. So you can see this is just an abdomen. Um, so it had quite a nice little result out of one treatment. So that was three months post one treatment. So once again, that was three months another abdomen. So it's three months post one treatment again. So quite a nice result, particularly if you look on the profile. Uh, so one treatment again, three months. So a lot, most of our people have, have between one to three treatments, depending on what, what sort of areas we're treating. Uh, it's just that these happen to only be have one treatment, and that was an excellent result of our one treatment. Um, and then some some of the Kutira actual photographs um, is you can, you can see you can do a lot of different areas. So the your flanks, your back fat um, that works quite well. The upper arms works quite well as well. So. What the takeaways I would say with the TrueSculpt ID, 
Uh, it's easy, extremely easy to use. Um, all the staff have been well trained. E anyone can use it uh, and get the same results. So every one of our staff will get the same results for that client. It's a 15 minute treatment time and it is a true 15 minute treatment time compared to the other ones, which can take well, 100, 100 plus minutes. Um, so that's, it's not even comparable. Um, there's no discomfort or downtime. We've had no side effects at all, no adverse effects at all for this whole period of time. Um, obviously, we use a lot of social media, and I think we use the the Katira support and their, their marketing plan. I think it's worked quite well. And for us, information evenings work, and I think that really is an important way to go. They it brings you as part of the community. Um, so we have happy happy patients, and the return of investment is has been excellent. So thank you.